We got it. All right, we're up. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna hand it, I'm gonna hand over the mic to someone who knows uh, some good jokes and has some awesome prizes to give away, which is way better than the stuff that I have. All right, my name's Andrew. I'm with AWS. Uh, so apparently, we can go to the moon. We can send things to Mars. Projectors and printers are the hardest thing in the world to get right. So, but we have it right now, and that's what counts. Uh, first off, thanks, Carter. He's probably the best Cascadia JS uh, runner we've ever had. Yeah. I, I, I'm also the only Cascadia JS runner there's ever been. So that doesn't matter. <laughs> then I can say you're the worst. Yeah. <laughs> no, the best guy. Awesome. Thank you very much. So. Uh, we had another raffle. Uh, you, last night, I made you slowly walk up, and Carter scolded me. So this time, we're just going to throw these names up there. Joseph, Andy, and Bria, you have won prizes. So that's fun. So come on downstairs. Not right now. Not up here. I don't have it. You got really excited. So at least one person is here. That's awesome. Uh, come downstairs afterwards. I'm easy to find out where I am, because look at me. Uh, Ah, that wasn't a joke, but no. <laughs> awesome. So next up, we had a coding challenge run for a few times. I don't know the exact number of uh, applicants we had in. I think it ranges in the thousands, maybe 10,000s. Yeah, you're going up millions. OK, so millions of you uh, applied. Of the millions, we picked six. I'm good at counting. That's pretty great. These six people. Don't actually look at it for like recruiting purposes. They're ours, not yours. But these six did awesome. Thank you very much. If you see your name, come on down. Presumably, maybe show ID or maybe not. I don't know. Uh, and we'll give you prizes. And it'll be great. Um, yeah. Awesome. I like the mic. I'm going to keep now. Thank you very much, guys. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, 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 real quick, real quick. While Andy. It this event could not be possible um, without the support of AWS. Andy is a representative of there, so let's watch him with some applause. So uh, this brings us to uh, the saddest part of the event, for me at least, the, uh, the closing ceremonies. I mean, it's bittersweet. Um, it's, uh, we get to celebrate what an amazing two days we had, but it's sad because it's uh, it's over. And I think a, a lot of us just want the the fun to keep going. You know, I want to come back tomorrow and hang out with all of you. Um, but a lot of people are gonna get on planes and fly away, uh, or you know, I don't know, go back to their regular lives. Um, so uh, I, w what I tend to do, uh, what I what makes sense to me is to spend this time uh, thanking everybody and everything and uh, you know, every person, every organization that made Cascadia JS possible. Um, if you are a Node developer, uh, you are familiar with NPM. Uh, and a lot of the maintainers uh, that build some of the most popular modules for NPM believe in Unix, sort of have a Unix philosophy around modules uh, doing one thing and doing it really, really well. Uh, and then uh, the way that you construct really powerful, amazing, useful software is to sort of bring all of those little small modules together into something that is useful and that people love. And that's exactly how I think about Cascadia JS. Um, and in fact, I want to I want to be I want to provide some guidance. Right, uh, this happens every year. A lot of people, I am visible because I have a microphone and I have a stage. Uh, but I'm just one of a lot of people that have this uh, red badge. Uh, so if you are at any point, you know, today or tonight or in the future, inclined to thank somebody. Uh, find someone else with a red badge to thank, because I assure you um, that they all contributed to Cascadia JS uh, in their in their own way, right? And really, all I'm doing is npm installing all this awesome stuff. So, uh, so let's uh, let's go ahead and start out with uh, the the companies that contributed, you know, financially uh, or you know from a volunteer's perspective. I'm I, I look at I look at this list and I can't believe it, right? Um, I feel like I'm at a NASCAR race or something. It's, uh, it's just amazing 
to see the upwell of support uh, that this event and this community has from all of these companies, um, most of which are fairly local, but some of which are not. Um, they've just con gotten connected to the community one way or another, and they felt compelled to support our scholarship program, or they felt compelled to help us put together, this, you know, to rent this venue or put together an amazing event. Um, I have had just the most amazing interactions with people, humans, from all of these companies. Uh, they're just really, really wonderful people, and I would just like to take a minute for all of us to, to recognize them and give them a round of applause. Wow, I was, uh, I was unbelievably happy that uh, we had exactly 36 speakers, right? <laughs> this slide looks so clean and neat. Um, I just can't tell you uh, how many aggregate hours that all of these people put into the presentations that they gave you today. And I'm not guessing, I know this because we work with every single speaker to, ha to provide whatever support they need to kind of craft their talk. Some speakers need more support than others. We had a lot of first time speakers, I'll talk about that in a second, and we had a really programmatic, awa programmatic way in which we engaged them, uh, helped them think about what it meant to craft a talk, um, everything from just the the beginnings of just building an outline of bullet points all the way to constructing the slides and rehearsing them. Um, all of these people, to one degree or another, put an unbelievable amount of effort into the talks and the presentations that they gave you today. And this conference would clearly be completely useless and without value, without all of their unbelievable hard work. So a really, really amazing round of applause for our 36 speakers this year. If you were an organizer or volunteer for Cascadia Jess, I want you to come join me on stage right now. Come on. All right, uh, yeah, where's, do we have everybody? Where's Heidi? There she is, come on. Um, <sighs> speaking of like spending like a lot of time with really great people working on something amazing, um, we, we've been working on Cascadia for months. <laughs> you know, this is, a, we probably, you know, started, like me and my wife Carrie started um, back in like April when we just got the initial crappy website up. Um, and then over time, more and more people came on board to help out with different parts of NPM installing Cascadia JS. Um, I, I don't have time to sort of recognize everyone individually, um, but every single one of these people did unbelievable work. I will, I will make a, I'm, we'll make one call out. Um, Gabby, if you can come up here. So, <laughs> Gabby uh, is an amazing person uh, who submitted to our CFP because she is just really passionate about mentorship and she wanted to give a talk on it. And I loved her proposal. Um, in fact, I loved it so much that I contacted her and I said, hey, how about you not give a 25 minute talk at Cascadia and instead fly out from where you live? Kansas City. Kansas City. How about you fly out from Kansas City and help us put on the mentor mixer for, you know, a hundred of our scholarship applicants? And like, without any hesitation, she's like, that sounds amazing. And that's what she did. She flew all the way out from Kansas City. And long before she flew out, you know, we were on Google Docs and, you know, Slack and email, constructing a program for the mentor mixer. And based on everything I've heard and all the feedback I've had, this is the best mentor mixer we've ever had. Um, so I, I'm not trying to single anybody out, but um, oh my God, that's just so amazing. So to Gabby and to everyone else who's up here, a really, really, really big round of applause, okay? And finally, uh, 
I would be remiss if I didn't take a minute to steal time on this stage to thank my family. Uh, my wife, Carrie, who is my partner in everything I do, in t including Cascade AJS, and my two beautiful daughters, Catherine and Emily. Uh, they have been with us since the beginning. This is Cascade AJS 2012. I uh, had less facial hair, <laughs> um, and <laughs> Emily is like 18 months old or something. Um, seriously, uh, uh, Carrie and I work on Cascadia JS like as a job, um, uh, but my children um, contribute in two important ways. They always have good ideas for us, um, especially when we go to fun places like Semiamu, um, where you can actually bring families and bring kids. Like they're always contributing to the event in their own ways. Um, but honestly, uh, they're also contributing to the event by being okay with me or Carrie uh, not being around as much in the like month leading up to Cascadia JS. Like I've missed a lot of time with my family over the last month. Do not feel sorry for me. We all we all have jobs and we all make trade-offs. Um, but uh, if I didn't have such an understanding family, um, we wouldn't be doing this today. Um, so Carrie, thank you so much. And and finally, um, the last important group of people I want to thank are you. Um, uh, I've I've been, to, I've been to lots of events. I used to be a developer evangelist, you know, so I would, uh, I'd fly around, I'd go to lots of events, and, you know, I'd witness, you know, what people can be like at conferences, um, and it's not always great. Uh, different conferences attract different kinds of people, different communities just have different um, characteristics and tenors. Um, I am continually and forever grateful uh, at the community that Cascadia JS uh, has built. Like I'm, I'm thankful for all of you, right? I'm thankful that all of you, ha all of that many of you have come in the first place, like for the first time, right? So many of you are first time attendees, um, and I've met many of you, um, and it's just been amazing. Um, and I thank those of you who have come back, right? This is just such an amazing community, and 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 you you all make a difference, like more more than me, right? I mean, m my interactions are kind of limited, like when you all the time that you've spent here, you, you've been mostly talking to other people, right? So the generosity, the, the friendliness, the kindness, all of this stuff is much more about what you all are doing than what, what any of us are doing. Um, so honestly, like from us to you, thank you so much. Okay, so uh, the feels part is wrapping up. Uh, dinner option, so that we're, we're closing the conference. Uh, we, uh, as soon as I drop this mic, I'm not actually gonna drop it because they charge me for it, but uh, as, soon as, I, as soon as I'm done talking, we're gonna vacate. Like, we're gonna, you know, grab your stuff and please uh, head out of town hall. Uh, the opening party uh, doesn't start until seven o'clock, and that's by design, right? Uh, please go out into the, the neighborhood or go out into Seattle, uh, grab dinner. If you can't think of a place that you might wanna go, uh, you can go to the website, go to slash Seattle guy and we highlighted some restaurants that are kind of in between here and where the closing party is at 7 p.m. So feel free to check out those places and grab a bite. Um, the closing party is at Optimism Brewing. Uh, they have food trucks there, so you, you, can, you will be able to buy some food at Optimism Brewing if you like. Uh, yes, Optimism Brewing, uh, doors open at 7 p.m. Uh, let's see, ah! Now normally, uh, this is when we would super end the conference, but for the first time, I'm doing something really, really exciting, so please bear with me. This is sort of my, uh, you know, my Apple style one more thing thing. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna turn off the presentation. This is, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna open up a code editor. So I've been working on this cool website. Um, I wanna show it to you. So, let's see. Uh, the website, so the current Cascade Jazz website is built on a framework called Architect, and it's hosted on a service called Begin, begin.com, uh, and that's what we're gonna use for this other cool website that I'm working on. So this is localhost, um, so I'm just spinning up my, uh, 
Dag Nabbit. Uh, hold on. Uh, let me control C this. There's some dragging that has to happen. Hey, friends. Do you need to like, hold the mic for you? No, stop it. Get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't tear this mic out of my dead hand. Um, all right, cool. Uh, I didn't need to do that. Uh, so this is Visual Studio Code. Uh, if you want, if you if you were in the in the if you were listening to Brian's talk, you're super familiar with it now. Uh, awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and npm start this cool new web application that I that I've built, and I now uh, need to sorry need to where's the mouse? There we go. I'm going to open up the browser, bring it over here, and I'm going to show you my cool new website. I hope you all like it. I'm not a designer. My wife is a designer, but I am not. Uh, so this is the best I could do. But I hope that you're going to be really excited about it. Awesome. <laughs> so hold on. Wait for it. So to provide more context about what you're looking at, uh, my daughter, Catherine, has something to share. Ew. Okay. Know, bud? It's right here. Okay. The next Cascadia JS is going to be in Oregon at Sun River. In fact, I visited Sun River this past summer. I really enjoyed it. My favorite part was going to an awesome pool. Wow. So now, yeah, so. Pretty rad, but hey, this is uh, this is just localhost, and I don't want people on the internet to think that I'm a liar. So I think what we need to do is we need to I need to log into my begin console, and I think we need to deploy this new website to production. Uh, how about uh, get ready? Oh God, okay, get ready for CJS. CJS 20 exclamation point, uh, ship it. Hold on, it's thinking. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, so, oh, here we go. Begin authored, commit is happening, production is thinking. And this is, come on, demo gods. It's work. Oh, it's deployed. But hold on. Don't take my word for it. Is it on the internet or not? That is what we are going to find out. Uh, I could have planned this better. Boom. <laughs> Woo. All right. So, uh, wow, that actually worked. I'm freaking blown away. So, uh, to reiterate, we are going back to Oregon. Uh, wait, oh, Emily, what's up? Hi. <laughs> We're going back to Oregon. I can't tell you how excited I am about that. We're going to Sun River. It is, if you've never, raise your hand if you've been to Sun River Resort. Okay, yeah, raise your hand. Exactly. If, okay, find people who raise their hands and ask them what they think of Sun River. It is absolutely beautiful. And I think the final thing that I'm most excited about is we're going to be in there in the summertime, y'all. It's like, yeah, no, you know, no drizzle or, you know, 33 degree mornings or nothing like that. It is, uh, it is pool weather. So pool parties will happen. Um, I'm unbelievably excited. So, so here's the deal. Here's, here's what I'm going to share uh, before we wrap things up. I'm going to email every single one of you one last email. Bear with me. I'm, you know, I get accused of being a little bit of a spammer, but it's, it's in, it's in, I have a good heart, okay? I'm going to send you one more email uh, because I, w I want to, we, we want to send you a survey, right? We do it after every Cascadia. Uh, it, it is how we understand how we can improve the conference. And it doesn't matter whether your feedback is positive feedback or negative feedback, like we just, we just want the feedback. So we're going to send out an email, it's going to have a link to a survey. Um, if you're interested in attending Cascadia GS 2020, 
just fill out the survey and after you fill out the survey, we'll send you a link with more information on how to buy super, super, duper, duper early bird tickets to Cascadia Jazz 2020. So we, we normally don't announce uh, the next Cascadia until like April or May, but uh, I just signed a really huge contract, so we're gonna announce it now. <laughs> okay, uh, awesome, so I hope you're excited about that. Uh, all right, so now uh, my favorite part of the event, the family photo. So we are going to take a family photo. In fact, uh, where is Brady? Brady's right here. Come on up here, Brady. Everybody give it up to Brady. Bra Bra Brady, Brady is going to use this microphone to provide some direction on what we all need to do to squeeze in together for an awesome family photo. Um, speakers and organizers, uh, please come down to the front, and I'm going to just give the mic to Brady. Cool. Um, also, if there's a way to get the house lights up any brighter, I don't know if that's possible in here, that would be amazing. Perfect. So we're going to try and be in this middle area. So if you can squeeze in, fill in all of the seats all the way to the back. And if the seats run out, then you're going to stand in these aisles that are next to the middle part. I'll take a ladder. Just a little short ladder. OK. Also, if there's still a little bit of space, still a few more people, we could always fit a few more right in the front. I'm going to get on this ladder. I hope I don't fall. All right, all right. Uh, if you guys are looking for a space back there, come around this way, like straight in the middle. Who's Vanessa? Vanessa, we need you. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. See you at Optimism.